Hello everybody, Kevin here again, and in a different tutorial, I showed you how in Twisted Wave that you can normalize your uh, audio files. So I know a lot of you out there probably use a PC and, uh, and or you don't have the money to spend on Twisted Wave, which is a great program, but I wanted to show you how you can do all of this stuff in Audacity as well. So it's a free program. So let's take a look at how you would actually normalize to make sure that your micro learning has the correct levels inside of Audacity. So I have Audacity open and we're looking right now at this waveform. And as you can see, it looks a little bit low. So we talked about before in the other tutorial that you really want to have your uh, dBs at, set to about a minus one level. So right here, I can tell just by looking at this waveform that this is going to be set on too low of a signal. So we're gonna to wanna to boost that up. So what we'll do is I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag over the entire waveform. And then I'm gonna come up here to effects and I'm going to choose normalize. And if you remember from our tutorial on the um, twisted wave, I wanted to uh, set it to negative one dB. You never wanna go over zero and there's that magic negative one number that Audacity uh, must know of as well, and they preset it for you right here. So normalize maximum amplitude to negative one. Now you could pick negative three if you wanted to, but I like one, so let's go ahead and select okay. And boom, you'll see that our highest peaks now go up to negative one. So we have the ability now to have uh, an audio file that's a lot clearer, um, and it's gonna play at the right level for you. Now the other thing that we talked about in the other tutorial was RMS power, or root mean squared, and that means how much average power is it putting out. Well, Audacity unfortunately doesn't have the ability to change that, but what we can do is we can select all of it, come over here, and under audio track, look at the waveform. And this waveform is gonna give you, is gonna give us a visual in light blue of the average power. So now if I come up here to analyze, or excuse me, effect, if I can find this properly, and you go to compressor under effect, you'll notice this is your dynamic range and here's your threshold. So I want you to take note of this threshold here of minus 12. Now, we talked about in the Twisted Wave video how we wanna set compression levels to negative 20 to negative 23. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to negative 20 dB as the threshold. So now we have a threshold of negative 20 dB and we have a peak power of negative one. I'll just go ahead and hit okay. You see it gives that a little bit of a bump. And now, congratulations, you have a perfectly normalized audio file for your micro learning in Audacity. So I hope that was helpful to you. Once again, thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.